What's up? Hey, we're back. I know what you're thinking. That dude dresses just like all of the pastors. I wish we were coaching right now. I just kind of am a normal dude. I just really like the Bible and really love you guys. So I'm going to talk to you from my heart. Um, I just finished grilling some chicken, like a whole week's worth. Not because I'm terrified, but um, cooking ahead. I marinated the chicken in this killer homemade fajita marinade. And do you, do you marinate your chicken? Because you should. It is delicious. So I shouldn't be long because I want to eat it. Um, I was talking to a buddy and he was saying, you know, hey, uh, it's interesting to watch all the, you know, we just came through all this banter with um, the impeachment and parties, and you can see a bunch of it is just uh, nasty, politically motivated garbage. And we're watching them have to work together on something that actually kind of matters at the moment. And it's, it's kind of amazing to watch. Um, you know, Trump talking about Cuomo and, uh, you know, Schumer today addressing Congress and the nation next to Mitch McConnell and <clears throat> all of these things coming together. And so there's a lot of argument about unity. And when you get on Facebook and you see all the, the stuff, even in the, even in, you know, the way, the way churches or Christians should be handling this stuff, <clears throat> it's funny. They're kind of divided and people get really frustrated with each other and then you see it all on that uh, on the public commenting and um, that stuff kind of mortifies me a little bit you'll notice I don't chime into a whole bunch of stuff to make a mess um, trying to sort out what it is for me to be a Christ follower but I heard someone say this uh, it was kind of an interesting quote it said that the weak become strong when they're united and I thought that's cool and true uh, but united by what? You know, like, what are we united by? Um, that's probably what's more interesting to me. And so what I do, because um, even though I address like Coach Bach, I love the Bible a lot, as I always look to the Bible. And uh, so I was just reading in Colossians 3, and I thought, there's a cool idea today for us to be united. Um, it says this in Colossians 3, verse 12. Check it out. Put on, like, like clothes, right? Like a cowboy hat, NFC. Um, put on, as God's beloved kids, uh, compassion. It says to put on a compassionate heart. So here are some things that I think we have in common with people. If we really want to be unified, if we really want to be stronger when we're weak, this is the stuff we're unified in. He says put on compassionate hearts. That means that to have a heart for people that are, are hurting are broken. We should have compassion for, for sick, for, for people uh, that are alone today. We should have compassion. It says, put on compassion to hearts. I'll just read them real quick. Kindness, humility, meekness, patience, bearing with one another. And if you got to complain against each other, forgive one another. The Lord has forgiven you, so you have to forgive. Here's what, let's just break them down. Ready? Compassionate hearts, heart for the broken. Kindness, it's like a, it's a personality. Uh, it's a, uh, it's probably not the best word for it. It's a trait. It's like a, it, it's a personality trait. Like it's it's presenting yourself graciously, kindly. Uh, then it says humility. What's humility? Maybe considering considering yourself low because you are. Uh, meekness. It's like deferred praise, preferring others over yourself. Um, patience. I think we know what that is. And he keeps it going from there in verse 13. He goes, patience. Bearing with one another. So what's bearing with one another? It means being like, being cool when people are like kind of uncool. You know what I mean? Like, like not freaking out because you totally disagree with somebody or they frustrate you and they put stuff on the internet. Maybe you have a whole different view of this whole COVID conversation. Whatever it is, it's, it's being uh, patient. It's bearing with people that, man, they're not, you're not all going to see things the same. And, 
unity isn't always uniformity. So part of that is okay. Sometimes, you know, I look at it and I go, eh, I think that person's wrong. I think I'm right. But I can be forbearant. I can be patient. I can bear with somebody that maybe I got to walk something out with them and, and we can have a lot more conversation. Or maybe it's just moving on and being an example, but we're not going to all always agree on all of it. Then he says, if you got to complain against somebody, uh, you got to forgive them. And he explains why. He says, because the Lord forgave you, you're supposed to forgive. So check this out. Like I give up my right. <laughs> this is this is awesome if we grasp it. I give up my right to be angry, mean, and unforgiving to someone if I want to ask Christ to be forgiving to me. Does that make sense? Like I can't I can't have both. I can't be like, um, God, I want you to be nice to me and forgive me and gracious to me. And then I want to be super unkind and unforgiving to others. But that's how I want this to work. I want you to be good to me while I'm, I'm not good to, to the other. Uh, he says, look, that's not how it works. Like, because he was good to me, I then am good to somebody else. Like, it's got, I've got to be consistent there. So if I want to be forgiven, I have to forgive. That's even in, you know, the model prayer in John 14 from Jesus. So that's cool. And then, and then here's a result of it. I love this. Verse 15 says, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. That's what you were called to in one body. And then he says, and be thankful. And be thankful. So I'm thankful, dude. I'm thankful for really good marinated chicken. I'm thankful that even though I know people that are hurting and uh, have even contracted this, quite frankly, I have personal friends now, another one yesterday. Um, I'm thankful that God is getting them through these moments. It's been tough for a couple. I'm thankful for my family being uh, well and folks in our circle and our church and our community right now being well, but I have compassion for people that are hurting. Uh, I have kindness for people that may or may not agree with how we're all handling these things. Um, I have patience. I want to be humble. I want to start conversations with what I don't know that if I knew it could help me be more gracious. And I want to be forgiving. And I want to be forgiving because I want to be forgiven. So I'm going to try to be that the best that I can because I want the peace of Christ to rule our hearts. We're going to put on love. That's perfection. And let the peace of Christ rule our hearts. Listen, um, yes, we are stronger when we are unified. Yes, the weak become strong when they're united. But around what? I would say around the principles of God's word in Colossians 3, verse 12 through 15. Uh, maybe check that out before you make your next post, all right? Um, geez, these guys are awesome. I have a huge announcement on Sunday, so if you can tune in live, man, Sunday to uh, to our conversation Sunday. We'll go live again at 11 a.m. Sunday morning this weekend, and I have really big news, ACC. Love you guys. Love you, Argyle. Go Jesus. Go Eags.